not for your uh, syllabus. So now we are going to go for a very, very important and the last type of oscillators called as crystal oscillators. So okay. you know in uh, Hartley or Colfitz or uh, oscillator, we use inductors. So in Hartley, I'm going to use a pair of inductors. And in Colfitz, I'm going to use a single inductor. So generally, the logic followed while designing or fabricating your circuit is maximize the use of capacitance and minimize the use of inductance. Because inductance is made up of windings and wires, it may tend to make your circuit bulky. Or fabricating inductance of uh, order of micro Henry or nano Henry or pico Henry is very, very difficult. So that is the reason they, they many electronic circuits, they don't uh, consider inductor as a part of their network. They try to replace inductor by a suitable alternate. Okay, so one such thing is going to be, I'm going to use a crystal. So the, when in the call pits oscillator, if you replace the inductor by a crystal, it becomes a call pits crystal oscillator. So in a conventional call pits oscillator, if the crystal is if the inductor is replaced by a crystal, it is called as call pits crystal oscillator. So you have, uh, many crystals are available in the market, and we cannot use any crystal as we like. So the crystal should have a piezoelectric property, and uh, Quartz is a very popular crystal which is going to exhibit the piezoelectric property. So we are going to construct these crystals based on quartz. And these crystals can effectively replace an inductor in your circuit. 